Hey guys, hope you're having a great day so far. I'm Amy, if you're new to my channel, I do videos on health and fitness, raw food, meditation, spirituality, and personal development. And today I'm gonna do another video in the Create the Life That You Want video series. So if you've been watching like the other video I made about cre creating the life that you want, um, maybe watch that if you haven't seen it um, because it'll help you understand this one. And yeah, today I'm gonna talk about focus and focusing on what you want and why this is so important and why you wanna do this is because this is going to help you create the life you want because whatever you focus on and you think about, you bring into your life. So the better you can get at focusing in any situation, the better you will be at manifesting the life, like the life that you want, like situations and the people and the things that are going to bring you what you want because a lot of the time what um, holds people back in getting what they want is just distractions because we're constantly distracted this is really um, a big deal in today's society because we've got so many distractions like we've got phones we've got internet we've got people we've got things we need to do we've got our mind so we've got all these things, so our, we're used to stimulation, right? So our mind is constantly being stimulated. And this is why meditation is so powerful and really crucial. It's really important because, because our mind is constantly like working, it's constantly absorbing information. It's really easy to get lost in that. And we're often like, um, like it's like kids my age or kids or whatever young adults or teenagers and kids these days are a lot more aware than they used to be and there's more information and there's good information but the 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 issue can be that there's so much information it's easy to get confused right and this is because the mind is easily confused in fact it's always confused the mind will never fully be out of grasp like reality in a way you have to kind of no, you have to be it, if that makes sense. And that doesn't have to make sense, you kind of just have to experience that, so I can't explain that to you. But with enough meditation and other like spiritual practices, you can uh, find that out for yourself. I'll talk more about that in the future, but here I'm just talking about focus and creation on what you want, what you desire, and what you want to manifest in your life. And um, yeah, so because of all these different things, right? This is why a lot of people's minds are like crazy, not crazy, like, well yeah, crazy in a way, like really, like, um, to put it bluntly, like yeah, most people are crazy, everyone is crazy to an extent really, nothing wrong with that really, but um, it can, it can cause issues because your mind will trick you all the time, so meditate and understand more where your thoughts are coming from and change those thoughts to benefit you. Uh, you don't need thoughts of negativity and like just repetitive behaviors because a lot of the things we do that are just on autopilot we don't think about and maybe they're not serving us maybe they're not helping us in our life but we're just doing them because we've been doing them so long and the reason that it might be hard to let go of some habits that you've been doing for a long time is just because it's comfortable and you're used to it and so the mind likes that the mind likes comfort and what it's used to it think it, it will convince you that you need to do it for some reason whatever like this is different for everybody but for example a person who worries a lot who is a constant worrier they will have a belief in them that they need to worry for some reason because if they don't worry then they'll forget or something might happen which is stupid because worry is useless I'm just giving that as an example there, but any, everybody has like thoughts and stuff which creates beliefs. The beliefs that we have, which are formed from the thoughts that we just keep thinking, create our reality. So when we can change our thoughts, we can change our beliefs, and we can change our entire life that way. So back to focus, how do we focus better? Meditate, also do things that require focus so it can be anything um, it, 
can be doing like maths or something like or you can be even reading but doing any kind of skill where you have to focus is best so if you do a particular sport for example I do gymnastics when I'm doing that I'm 100% focused on my performance and what skill I'm doing or what even just when I'm working out I'm focused but if you're doing some kind of exercise like for example walking or running it's your mind can wander easier so I think these types of exercises are really good too to train your mind however they don't require you to focus on a skill so it's more you have to focus yourself so if you can do that it can be a really powerful way to meditate uh, I think it's you can do it while you're running but I find it easier when you're walking just to meditate just be aware of your thoughts but yeah you can try it while you're running too so yeah anything skill based musical instrument when you have to focus on what you're doing and if you're doing like daily tasks at work, you can focus on what you're doing. And if you become really good at meditation too, you can meditate in any kind of situation and any doing any kind of activity. Basically, when you get used to it, you just focus on what you're doing and you don't think about anything. And if any thoughts come up, you let them go. If that makes sense. So like, so when you're doing the dishes or something. That can be like a form of meditation. So, yeah. That's how to get you to focus better. And now when you know how to focus, you just practice focusing on what you want and think about the things you want. So, when you realize what you're thinking, focus on the things you like and forget about the things you don't like. Even if they come up in your life, like if you in a situation that you don't like. For example, maybe you're stuck in traffic or something and it's kind of annoying, you're starting to get annoyed. Whenever you start to get annoyed, switch your focus. Forget about the traffic and just let it let it be. Don't worry about it. Whatever, if even if you're in a hurry to get somewhere, just be like, okay, whatever, I can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna have to sit here. While you sit there, you can either just meditate or you can focus on what it is that you wanna create. Focus on your vision. Focus on the things you like to do, anything. Like, when I'm in a situation that I wish I wasn't <laughs> at the time, I'll think about things that I like better. And that will, in a way, bring those things into my life and get me to forget about whatever it is I'm not, I don't like in that present moment. So that seems to work for me. So if you wanna try that out, and yeah, just in general, Focus on the things you like. Talk about the things you like. Tell other people about the things you like. You don't have to tell everybody your vision, but just tell things. Talk about anything you like. If you like, if you like music, talk about that. Tell people how you like music. Tell people how you like sport. Tell people how you like, I don't know, science, maths, art, whatever it is you're interesting, you're interested in. Anything. It doesn't matter puppies, um, whatever food you're eating, like if you like it, talk about that because that will bring good energy, good things into your life. When you're negative, that is going to keep you in a negative state of mind and if you keep it going long enough and you um, keep thinking negative thoughts, it'll get, it'll get worse. That's why people that are pessimistic often bring more bad things or things they don't desire into their life and they live that way. And people that are positive generally just attract positive things a lot easier. It's really that simple and um, yeah in terms of like if you want to manifest something specific like if you want you have a specific goal focus on that goal the way you want it but be detached in how it turns out because you can never really know how things are going to turn out and often they don't turn out exactly how you want them and they're usually better because the universe knows exactly what you want even when you don't even know it because it kind of knows you better than you know yourself in a way if if that makes sense so it's just kind of trusting the process and just being happy with whatever in the, in the present moment anyway if things don't work out know that they're 
they will be better and there was a reason maybe there's a lesson you need to learn or a skill that you needed to develop before you could get that thing that you wanted so also that will help in your mood if you're um, enjoying the process and you're just accepting whatever happens even if things don't go the way that you want them to go so that's another good tip and yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video was just focus on whatever it is you want to do and have like with raw food uh, how I made that easy for myself was just focus on what I'm doing when I'm going when I'm eating raw food like I'm just gonna eat fruit when I go to the shopping go to the supermarket like there's all this other fruit. I just look at the fruit. I don't worry about the other food. And now I've gotten used to that. It doesn't it doesn't even bother me. I can look at the other food and it won't like I won't feel like tempted to eat it. It's just it doesn't even really look like food anymore. It's just like eh, it's just stuff there. <laughs> so that's how another way you focus. You can do this in any anything. Anything you want. If you want to buy something specific, focus on that. Think about that. And that will bring you ideas of how you can maybe make money to get that thing or some other way of getting that thing or whatever and it'll not, maybe it'll just come to you in some unexpected way and yeah if you want to learn a skill think about that you don't have to think about how but you just think about what you want and that will bring you the ideas or the uh the people whatever the opportunity that will allow you to do that if that makes sense so yeah you don't have to, to overthink things. You don't want to overthink things because that will hold you back. You just want to focus and let it go. And be happy in the present moment. <laughs> and that's it for this video. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you did, if you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on how you can create your life or other things on raw food or fitness. And share it with a friend also if you found it, if you think it'll help them. So that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.